enemy has emerged from the castle and has formed defensive ranks. Why would they come out? It is the height of idiocy. Sure, you must act as a decoy and attack from the south. Zhao, once the enemy reacts to Shur's attack, you must strike from the rear. This man, he rebels against Wei and strikes out on his own. And yet he is nothing but a mere fool! This battle is an insult to us all. End it! is so heavy. I should have left it behind. Ciao. Hey, what's with the sour face? I've already made all of the necessary preparations. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I suppose it's not like this battle is going to last very long anyway. Nothing more than a mere fool. This battle is good as won. However, I have a feeling that it will not be long before chaos rises again. Wu has united around Sun Chuan. However, Wei and Wu have lost many of their heroes and have been weakened for some time. The balance of power has shifted. It is only a matter of time before someone fans the flames of rebellion. Very perceptive, my son. Indeed, this world has taken a decisive change for the worse. Let's go. I wish to bring a quick end to this battle. Sure, you will attack from the south as we will. Father, what's the point of this battle? Frankly, this guy doesn't seem worth the effort. Sometimes you have to fight battles that are dull, my son. Responsibility demands it. Fight me now! For glory! Once we reach our initial goal, halt the advance. From there, we will draw the enemy out. This battle's a real waste of time. We could beat these guys in our sleep. Looks like those cowards have run for the hills! You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops! Oh! You just reached another level of brilliance! You believe your wits are a match for mine? I bring news. An enemy unit is on the move. And just like that, they break down their defenses. Keep drawing the I'm speechless. Maybe I'll try and match your feats out there. I really hate it when they do that. Father, 
What's the matter? I realize our enemy today is hardly worthy of attention, but I was just remembering the times I fought Juga Leong, back when I had opponents I needed to think to beat. are moving south. Like fish to the bait, they can pull up in a castle. They still have their egos. Prepare to be exposed. This has gone on long enough. Strike from the east. What a disaster! I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. Don't waste this opportunity! We must use this momentum to press the attack! defeated. Stay calm. Turn and fight! This is how they handle a crisis? What a disgrace. We must retreat! This is not the end! The mind shall vanquish the sword. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. Time to put this position to use in realizing my strategies. Not the end! You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Surrender. Please, forgive our foolishness. There are five options in war. Fight, defend, flee, surrender, or die. You have proven the net the first two, and have now had the temerity to surrender. Death is all you deserve. <laughs> Fight this battle with everything you've got. Could not best. Time to put this position to use in realizing my strategies. I know. I know. You need not 
worry about me, Father. Please, to have mercy. I surrender. The fact that you instigated a revolt is not such a great crime. Your greatest crime was having the temerity to think you had the talent to do so. You, who are unaware of your own mediocrity, die. Curse you! What a miserable world this is, where we are forced to watch while idiots erupt in hysterics. Meanwhile, my own talents are destined to be wasted. The cunning of Sumo Yi managed to eliminate Gong Soon Yuan. Not knowing the limits of his strength, he had turned his back on Wei and declared himself the King of Yan. Unable to control his anger towards this fool, Sumo Yi was reminded of another man. The unparalleled tactician that had fallen at the Wujang Plains, Zhuge Liang. Once his star had faded, the land had changed dramatically. Within Wei, Cao Rei succeeded Cao Pi as emperor and began a rule of greed and opulence. While within Wu, they watched the struggle between Wei and Shu as they stabilized their own country and strengthened their defenses. Meanwhile, determined to rebuild its strength, Shu remained quiet as it recovered. It was then that Cao Rei of Wei died and was replaced by the young Cao Feng. Supporting Cao Feng were the Wei general Cao Shuang and none other than Sumo Yi. However, Sumo Yi willingly gave up his authority and decided to retire instead. For he felt that dividing power between two people would only lead to chaos within the government. In addition, with Zhuge Liang gone, there were none who could match his intellect. Realizing this fact during his battle against Gong Sun Yuan, he later disappeared from the public eye. And so, as the lone authority of Wei, Cao Shuang moved to attack Shu in the hope of returning Wei to its former glory. Sumo Yi refused to participate in this battle and dispatched his son, Sumo Zhao, in his stead. It was a sign of how much he missed having a worthy opponent. We can place ambush troops here, but that means these supplies. <sighs> it's a little dark for map reading, isn't it? Who are you again? My name is Deng Ai, my lord. I have had the honor of speaking with your father on several occasions. <laughs> is that right? I have something I wish to discuss with you, my lord. What is it you want to say? Forgive me, but would you be willing to speak to our lord on my behalf? We have been short on provisions since our last campaign. Our first order of business should be to find some nice, fertile land. The enemy is clearly reading our every move. We should prepare for a surprise attack. I suppose you already mentioned this to him and he ignored you. Well, he's not much of a listener. Even if it's coming from me, he's just going to say the same thing. Perhaps, but you're the only chance I've got. 
Uh, how do I always get myself caught up in these things? Thank you, my lord. Yi is attempting to ascertain the abilities of Lord Cao Shuang. That is why I sent your brother to this battle, to report on Lord Cao Shuang's behavior. Why do I always have to get stuck with these menial tasks? My lord, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Ah, there you are, Suma Chao. I have an important mission for you. I want you to launch a surprise attack on the enemy supply base and secure provisions for our men. If I do, then our defenses here will be thin. I think it best if we prepare for an attack by the enemy and strengthen our defenses. You're not the first one to mention that to me. You must have spoken with Dung Ai. There is no way the enemy will try to attack us. They have no idea what we are up to. Enough. I order you to go and attack the supply base. Understand? <sighs> I suppose I don't have much of a choice. All gone wrong, Dung Ai. Lord Cao Shuang wants us to raid the enemy supply depots. I apologize, but I am still worried that the enemy will spring a night raid. I hope they do. That'd teach him. Come on, we'd better get moving. The supply depots are to the northwest. We must approach undetected. Speed and daring. Fine work, my lord. The supply depots are just ahead. We've been ordered to defend this area. Do you think you can handle it? Terrible news! Our main camp is under attack. It needs help urgently! Just as I feared. Okay, let's get this thing started. This ought to make Lord Cao Shuang see sense. I guess we'd better go help out. are looking very good for us. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. Camp defenses have been wiped out by a fire attack. Fight me now for glory. How could this be? It's as if your actions out there have cured me of all my ailments. last much longer. Alright, alright, I get it. I have to help him, right? Suma Chao, 
I suppose you've come to laugh at me. You were right, and I was wrong. I wouldn't do that. So what do you want to do? I think our chances of winning are pretty much gone. I know that. All forces retreat! The enemy seems to be coming from the north. We must take the western gate and head south. Hmm. You have your father's eye for strategy, I see. The western gate, you say? Very well. I am fine, my lord. You must protect Lord Cao Shuang. Perfect harmony with each other. I would expect nothing less from our pairing, however. I thought you might come. We could use some assistance to turn back the enemy. Fight so long as there's life left in you. This may be your last chance. Chance, men! Aim the head of the leader of Wei! Okay, let's get this thing started! I am to be the last thing you see on this battlefield! Come and show me the might you possess! taken seriously, or they will ultimately lead to control of the land. Our lord has been ambushed. We must hurry to his aid. Our lord isn't quite up to this. It looks like we'll have to take care of them. What a disaster! Stop me! I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. You are shining brightly as a result of your efforts out there. Is it possible you have overcome your laziness, my lord? Even if just for a moment, I am quite proud of you. Retreat! This is not the end! That was almost too easy. You are perhaps the most magnificent warrior I've ever seen. 
Another seed. Positive effect on our forces. like we got away clean in the end. But the general may prove a problem. I suppose I should go and report on what happened to my father. Most impressive, my lord. You reminded me of your father out there today. What? Come on. Don't say things like that. Right. Let's move on out of here. He defeats the enemy with assured decision-making and retreats by the safest route. It seems the Suma family is the only one that can reunite Wei. Everybody demanded the return of the cunning strategist they had known. The army led by Cao Shuang to defeat Xu was unable to achieve any results. And Cao Shuang's reputation as a military commander was dealt a crushing blow. On the other hand, Suma Zhao's skillful retreat helped further the Suma clan's reputation as brilliant strategists. Cao Shuang was convinced that military action could not restore Wei to its former brilliance. And so he held a feast at the palace that lasted for several days. With this lavish banquet, he hoped to gain influence and power by winning over the hearts of the leaders and governing officials. However, his opulence began to put a strain on the coffers and accomplished little but to drain the country of its resources. Just then, 
word arrived that Zhang Wei of Shu was preparing to invade Wei. The only way to meet this threat would be to depose Cao Shuang and replace him with Sima Yi. Oblivious to these calls from the people throughout his country, Cao Shuang continued to hold his feasts. As the misguided rule of Cao Shuang continued, Sima Yi sequestered himself in a mansion within Luoyang and refused to come out. However, there was a distinct gleam in his eyes, like that of a wolf stalking its prey. This was the beginning of a coup d'etat, a natural move for one of such cunning intellect as he. You mean, he's too ill even to meet with me? Yes. Recently, he's begun to forget things. Frankly, I don't think he'll ever recover. Please give my regards to the general. By the way, where is the general right now? Yes, I believe he is out on a hunt today. Now, if you will please excuse me. Come, my son. Cao Shuang must be dealt with. I am not generous enough to allow such a fool to do as he pleases.